Hey, what's up everybody? Moppet here from Eat, Sleep, Mix, Repeat. And I got some more reviews for you today. Alright. And today, so first on our list is... <clears throat> Lime Longing, A Longing Remix by Shindo. Alright, so... I don't know if you guys remember, but a few months ago, I reviewed Longing by IDT10, and I enjoyed it. Um, I reviewed a couple of Shindo's recipes, and I've enjoyed them. He's a good mixer, so I'm like, eh, you know, why not mix it up? I like Longing, I like Shindo, probably going to be a good mix. So, so it's literally just Longing with um, just added um, Flavor Art Florida Key Lime at 2%. So, if you want to read the recipe real quick, 1% uh, Flora Cream, 1% Flavor Art Cream Fresh, 2% Flavor Art Florida Key Lime, 3% TFA Honeysuckle, 1% Inawara Shisha Vanilla, and 1.5% TFA Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. Yeah. It's pretty good. It is really good, actually. Um, yeah, I liked Longing, you know, how it was. Uh, and this is just a really good kind of variation on it, you know. And Florida Key Lime was great here, because Florida Key Lime is just, it's a really nice, like, kind of tart lime that has, like, a little bit of that kind of zest, lime zest to it. And, yeah, it does really well in this recipe. It just turns out really like kind of soft cream, like soft, nice ice cream and just adds a nice like splash of lime. And I like it because he went for a lime that he knew was going to, um, was going to really come out though, you know, so it's, it's not like just like longing with like a little touch of lime. Like it's, it's got lime flavor in it. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely the lime comes out really nice in it. And yeah, it's good. It's good long. Uh, it's longing uh, with some lime in it, and I dig it. Good job, Shindo. I think you did a. I think you picked a really good lime to do this with. So if you like lime vapes, and if you've tried longing, you like it. Or if you haven't tried longing, you should try it. It's a good recipe, but. Yeah, this is good. This is a good variation on it. And it does make the, it definitely gives a different experience, you know, because longing is like, kind of like just a really nice, like, soft ice cream, you know, with a uh, little bit of honeysuckle in it. And so now you get a nice lime flavor with it. So good job, Shindo. Dig it. Yeah. I'm not really going to rate it because it's like, you know, it's just a variation on another recipe, but... I just saw it and I was like, oh, that sounds like something I would like. So I mixed it and I think it's good. All right. So the next one we have is Strawberry Cheesecake a la Bode by C. Daniel 30. Uh, this one's kind of funny, actually, because I just went back and read the description. And he says, so if you can believe it, Walmart sells a strawberry cheesecake ice cream that's actually pretty damn good. This is my closest approximation to it. Before you turn your nose up at it. I've given out several samples. Blah, 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 says it's people have liked it, but uh, yeah, I think it's pretty funny. He got his, you know, he got his inspiration from um, Walmart ice cream. But you know, that's awesome. Inspiration comes from anywhere, and you know, and as a mixer, that's that's a good thing to do is to kind of keep it out of the mind and kind of just like always be looking for that inspiration, you know, wherever it might come up. And yeah, you're at Walmart and you pick up ice cream, and you're like, man, this is pretty good. It might make a good bait. You never know, might turn into a great recipe. So, the recipe reads three quarters percent in order biscuit, two and a half percent flavor of our juicy strawberry, two percent TFA marshmallow, three percent Capella New York cheesecake, and one percent TFA vanilla bean ice cream. And I should also read the disclaimer that he says, edit. I knew I had cribbed this cream base from somewhere, but I couldn't remember where. I went back and looked, and I have to give credit to the debt, ma the debt man for his excellent work. So apparently the debt man gets credited for um, the ice cream base in this.
yeah, I dig this one. It's actually, it's a really good strawberry, um, strawberry cheesecake ice cream. It is really good. And the only strawberry he used was Juicy Strawberry, which, you know, a lot of people give crap on. I reviewed it. I like Juicy Strawberry, you know. I'm not saying it's the best strawberry out there. It's definitely not. But I like Juicy Strawberry. I've been using it. Um, and it definitely gives that nice, like, kind of syrupy, you know, feel that they would put in, like, ice creams and things like that. But a lot of people were saying they couldn't even taste strawberry, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. To me... I'm not strawberry blind though. I've never had problems with pretty much any strawberry I've tried. But I like FAGC strawberry. And I think it does really well in this recipe. I think it was a good choice. And you really do get like a strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Like you get, you know, there's a lot of nice creams, thick creams in there. And then that biscuit and New York cheesecake definitely kind of give it that strawberry cheesecake feel. So I'd say, I would say if you're going for authenticity, you did a pretty good job on this one. So yeah, I would definitely give this one a four out of five. Definitely. So I like it. It's good. If you have that FA Juicy Strawberry and you haven't gotten to work anything, maybe try this recipe out. You know. It's all personal preference that so you might not like it. You might be like, my pet's a dirty liar and I still hate ju juicy strawberry. And if you do, you know, that's on, you know, that's, that's your preference, but I think it's pretty good. And I can definitely taste the strawberry in it with just FA juicy strawberry and two and a half percent. Like it's not even like he used it super high or anything, you know, I mean for a flavor art, you know, too, but it is, it's a kind of weaker for a flavor art. You know, flavoring. But. but I dig it. I definitely get that, like, kind of syrupy um, strawberry flavor from it. Yeah, I get the ice cream. I get the cheesecake. I think it's good. So, good job, C. Daniel. All right, I'll make this one nice and short. <coughs> so that brings us to our recipe of the week. And our recipe of the week, hands down, goes to fried butterscotch ice cream by Tam Vapes. Yeah. Tam, you did an excellent, excellent job with this with this recipe so so the recipe reads one and a half percent flavor art breakfast cereal one percent flavor art butterscotch two percent flavor west butterscotch ripple two and a half percent wonder flavors caramel rice crispy treats one percent hanks in french vanilla ice cream a uh, quarter percent flavor art joy quarter percent capella super sweet and three percent liquid barred vanilla ice cream um so actually, originally, when I mixed this, because I mixed this pretty soon after she um, she posted it, and it did not have the Capella Super Sweet in it, and then, like, so after I tried it, and we talked, and I was like, yeah, it's really good, and I was like, it probably could use a little bit of sweetener just to kind of sell the ice cream a little bit more. It doesn't need it, though. Honestly, I think it's fine without the sweetener, but uh, she kind of agreed. She was like, yeah, I was kind of getting that, too. So, so the one I have... Um, to actually review is without the sweetener in it but we were thinking that like with the sweetener it probably just helped kind of sell the ice cream part a little bit more because without the sweetener you get more of like the bakery notes and stuff you know the fried part of it which is excellent you know but um but if you really like you're really into like you know sweeter vapes and you really want the ice cream to come out i would definitely add the capella super sweet you know even yeah just quarter percent nothing crazy you know, and then without it, it's awesome. Yeah, man, she nailed it. That, that breakfast cereal just makes an awesome. I mean, it's really between that breakfast cereal and that 
caramel rice crispy treat and man i guess even the joy too yeah she kind of even layered in like uh like the fried part of it you know instead of just like most like i know i've done a fried ice cream and you know i'll just be like oh yeah this one thing i'll make fried you know so she kind of definitely took her time and layered in some flavorings to get that fried note uh the butterscotch in it like really comes out nicely the ice creams are done super well yeah it's just it's just a really really good recipe And you might not have all the flavorings for it. This one, it's worth getting the flavorings to make this recipe. And they're all really great flavorings to have. Yeah, it's so good. I made a 30 mil. I'm glad I made a 30 mil. Probably should have made more. I probably will make more. But yeah, excellent, excellent Tammy Vapes. I'm really digging it. And this week was just... A great week of recipes you know it happens sometimes i just don't really have bad things to say about the recipes <clears throat> and all three of the recipes i just really enjoyed this week so i know not much of a critique because i don't really have you know oh, i would do this to it because i really wouldn't because i think they're all just good the way they are and so yeah so this one i'm gonna give a four and a half out of five definitely I don't know, with that little bit of super sweet, might even just brought it up to a 5 out of 5. I'll have to try and mix it up again with that. But, I don't know, but I'm also not really into, like, overly. Like, to me, I don't know, especially with Capella Super Sweet, I get kind of sensitive to it. So, I don't know, if a recipe is just, like, a little too sweet, it just, it bugs me and I can't vape it all day. This, the way it is, I can just, I can vape it days on end. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys this week. Next week, we start the Eat, Sleep, Mix, Repeat um, mix off. And if you're like, what the hell does that mean? Eat, Sleep, Mix, Repeat is the Facebook group started by Chef John that I'm also an admin in and help him run. And, uh, you know, I always put a link in the description to the Facebook group. So definitely come and join the Facebook group. Great group of mixers. Just We have a lot of fun in there. <clears throat> and then also... Join the DIY E Juice University Facebook group. Also, uh, that one's run by Jack Gilroy. Awesome group of mixers in there too. And yeah, I'm really excited to start out. I know it's been a while because I started talking about it like a few months ago, but it's finally here. Finally here. Next week, I'm gonna start doing it. Um, I already started testing out the recipes, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right. So until next time, you guys. Eat, sleep, mix, repeat. Be good to each other and keep on mixing. Talk to y'all later.